Uh, Jared, you posed a question to your friends on Twitter this I week. I did. Uh, that was a, it was a big surprise. I just asked people out of the, off the cuff on the bus one day, hey, what's the first video game you remember playing? And Wait, they were like on their laptops with their headphones on on the bus, and then you Excuse just me. stood up. Yeah. I have an announcement. Uh, said, everybody, oh, yeah. bus driver. Oh, 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 yeah, I came running over doing the little waddle thing. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, about 1,200 responses later. Um, you know, 1,200 people on your bus? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a very crowded bus. Uh, so No, just a bunch of people wrote back and, and shared Did you do this on Twitter, Jared? I did this on the Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did I not say that? No. I said that. Oh, you said that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought that was in the context of the conversation. Are it's we back okay. to Link to the Past again? Anyway. Uh, yeah. People had some really cool responses. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, some of these, they range all over the place. They say a lot about, I think, the demographics of people who play games. They go from way back. We had people that, you know, talked about Pong. Super Mario Brothers was probably the most popular Pong response. Pong the first game you ever played? Yeah, some people saying, I actually played Pong, and that was several. Do we get Super Mario was popular all the way up to, there, there are some here that are fairly recent. I'll a few of these. Yeah, what's My, the most recent one? The so most if, uh, if, you eight, if you're 18 years old now, you were two years old when Super Mario 64 came out. Yeah. Uh, cameo, no, wait, you, you wouldn't be born for two years. Cameo is one of the most recent ones. Uh, that, that was somebody's first memory. That, uh, uh, 2005. Star Wars Battlefront was oh, one of the more recent ones. Star Wars Battlefront is the first game they ever played? Yeah. Or the original the Battlefront? The original Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, the, the first Star Wars Battlefront. That's my assumption, yeah. Uh, Spyro the Dragon <laughs> was another uh, another really recent one. But some of these were, were really interesting. Spyro's um, 90s, yeah. right? No, kids that uh, are adults now were like kids when like the PS2 generation was. <laughs> You know, yeah. Like PS1, PS2. PS2 is like 2000, yeah. year 2000. Very popular response. Smurfs Rescue from Gargamel's Castle on ColecoVision and Atari. Man, lots and lots of people played that great. game. Lots of people played that game. Lots of people uh, apparently played you know, that game. Screen shifts, I'm surprised so you can see Smurfette. You, you haven't listed off yeah. like, you know, <laughs> Mario, like Super Mario. Super, I did actually said that that was the most popular oh, did you? one. Yeah. He uh, missed Super, my Easter eggs. Super Mario Brothers is the <laughs> most popular response it. to them all. The Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt cartridge. Then we have Donkey King. Uh, for the Dragon 32. Donkey King. Uh, Donkey King. Uh, Donkey that's a, King. That's a candy game. I think it's pronounced, think it's pronounced Donkey you. King. Donkey King. Uh, on Donkey King. But that's the real name. Dragon 32. Dragon, uh, Donkey King. Did anybody King say was Angry Birds? Uh, nobody said Angry Birds. Or anything else. Like Minecraft. Plans, uh, we had it. Nobody said Minecraft. Wow. Um, Choplifter. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Choplifter. Night Choplifter Stalker. Another one for me. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark on 2600. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark on 2600. Yeah. Um, Very difficult game. To play. Are we gonna do it? Yeah, We're gonna go over there. Yeah, we should go over us. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? We yeah. should go over our games. And uh, t at least two callouts to Chucky e. Egg. That's really, really important too. Chucky e. Egg. And this one for you, Damon. What's Turbo Graphic 16 and some dude with a chainsaw. Oh, Splatterhouse. Uh, exactly. That what, was you don't even remember? Come on. That was his uh, what, his thing. Chucky e. Egg. Chucky yeah. e. Egg. E. Egg. Right? Chuck e. Egg. Also, this That's poor man. Digger T. Rock. Yeah. yeah. One poor guy, and I don't know why he still plays video games. His first game was Pepsi Man. Um, on PlayStation? Yeah, on PlayStation. Mm. Uh, Sounds good. Pepsi Mint's not all that great. <laughs> Sam, uh, first uh, game you okay. remember playing? Uh, for me, I had, it was a compilation, cartridge, uh, not cartridge, a floppy disk for my Commodore 64, my grandfather's Commodore 64, and it had a bunch of games that somehow he, had, he used to have these whole stacks of them, like all these games that were copied, just completely yeah. illegally or whatever. Mm. But no, there was, what did, yeah. I didn't realize yeah. at the time it was arcade games mainly, but uh, Congo Bongo. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Donkey Kong, I remember, Pole Position, um, and then Jungle Hunt. How old were you? Nice. Uh, those were all in 1983, but I was, that was, I probably played them years later, probably 1985 or six. I was four mm. or five. Yeah. Uh, and then Zork. Mm. The text that was adventure. on the same thing. It'd be like yeah. Congo Bongo, Zork. So you like played your first games. games on a Commodore 64? Yeah, with like a gem stick. Mm. Like yeah. It was black and it had a yellow button. It was like Atari joystick, so it just plugged in. But then Zork, you had to play with the keyboard, and it was yeah. really confusing. But once I started figuring it out, also there's an amazing strip poker game on Commodore 64. <laughs> amazing strip poker. Yeah. yeah. Found that one out later. Is it a text adventure? No. <laughs> she, she undoes there's one. There's two button. girls, Susie and Melissa. And uh, they're impossible to beat in poker, so you never see any nudity. <laughs> I feel like this is good family it. fun. This is a formative moment for young Sam. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. I learned how to play poker. Mm. <laughs> Strip poker. Jared, first game you remember playing? Uh, I remember my uh, dad giving me a quarter and picking me up to play Pac-Man, like mm. holding me up so that I could so see the screen. you have an screen. arcade memory. Uh, yeah, my very first one is a Pac-Man arcade machine. I never played any um, games in an arcade. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what happened. It was, it was Pac-Man, I mean, he until, picked me up and, uh, and held me up so I could move the stick around and it just grabbed me. And soon after that, I remember seeing a Miss Pac-Man standing up in a department store, like mm. right in, like, in the clothing section, just yeah. right in the middle. It was out they in the middle, not against the wall. Huh? Yeah, and I, and I kind of made a connection between Pac-Man Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man in my tiny little brain. And They're I was like, married. Ooh, this is great. So you and were four or five. 
I, I was pro no because I got my twenty six hundred when I was three, and I remember getting it. And Pac Man was before my twenty six hundred, okay. so I'm three probably. So maybe that pushes my recollections earlier too. Maybe I was that young. Yeah, I was. Th I was probably two or three when he picked me up and had me play Pac Man. Yeah, somewhere. mine's a little weird. I remember, I like my vivid memory of playing games is we got an NES when I was probably four or five, and uh, we got it for Easter, which is weird, like some Easter gift for the family. And that had like the Duck Hunt, uh, you know, combo pack. And most of my memories are NES, like uh, Excite Bike and uh, mm -hmm. Duck Hunt and Mario One. But I was so excited to get the NES that I obviously already knew what it was. But I don't recall specifically like mm -hmm. how I would have. Like it must have been cousins' houses and things yeah. like that, right? Like I remember playing. They would always try to get us to go outside, and we would just want to play Spy Hunter all day long. And like that game's impossibly hard, and we made it to the boat like one time and lost our minds. <laughs> yeah. In an arcade cabinet? No, just at, on the NES. Like the NES. Okay. Right. But um, don't so, you think? I mean, like the NES was around. Like I, I, I was. I have early memories of the NES too. But like I must have played video games and my Commodore right. memories. But I must have played video games at somebody else's house and stuff right. before I even knew about. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like I NES. definitively remember getting that NES, and that's when like video games became, you know, and remain sort of the my cent the central hobby in my life. But I was so. Excited Excited to get it that I know I had earlier memories before the age of you know yeah. four, but like I can't recall. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, like with I have these friends with Atari, but I don't remember. They yeah, I was. I was I'm a little bit too that. young for the Atari generation. Mm -hmm. Now, a anecdotally, Super Mario Brothers was a runaway with, yeah. oh, with yeah. this crowd of people. I mean, yeah. just that—that that was the memory everybody mm -hmm. had. Was that? What about you, Dima? I don't remember if my the first game I played was at home or at an arcade. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you both. I know at home the first game I played was Defender because uh, we got a Atari 2600 and like that was the game. That we had at first. Great Buck Dragon Garcia song. Oh, I love that one. I'm a defender. A, a mutant bender. bender. <laughs> uh, I'm a defender. A mind bender. See, mind bender rhymes with mutant bender. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Of course. And then we would go to uh, uh, Showbiz Pizza. My grandpa would take us to Showbiz Pizza. That was like our equivalent of Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. And before yeah, Chuck E. Cheese too. bought Showbiz Pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, and or I remember. Kid me a kid. I remember seeing cocktail cabins because I was a little too short to like see mm -hmm. our, the stand up cabinets very well. So it would be a cocktail cabinet like Time Pilot maybe Ooh. from Konami or Gorf. Oh, that's set, that's setting the bar high. Oh man. yeah, that's your first. I yeah, so my family owned a bar and I, yeah, we would like clean on the weekends and stuff. Yeah. Like it was our family like so like all me and my siblings would all have to go in and like clean the place up. And then we had uh, Donkey Kong and Tron Mm. There. So that was some pretty early. And so I remember getting, well, I mean, they probably still have Donkey Kong and Tron, to be fair. But uh, I remember I was so short that we had to get a step for me to go play. So maybe that maybe yeah. that did predate Ooh. the NES. So we just had uh, uh, the creator and, and founder of Jersey Jack Pinball in the office, uh, Jack, and he was uh, make, he had a, uh, he brought a new Hobbit pinball machine uh, in, Too and fun. he said they designed cool. that game with little kids in mind too. So what they do is they get down like on their knees on a pinball machine hmm. and look right into the game ah. uh, from like that level and they want to make sure like you know the things right around the footprint stuff aren't too tall to block the rest of the game and like really stuff cool. like that. Like they thought about that's that. Smart. No, that's tall, no tall elements in the front of the table. Yeah, that's smart. isn't that neat? And then it's uh, the yeah, opposite they, of their first pinball table. That's yeah, yeah, rad. there's a lot of stuff there. But yeah, there's a uh, but you, I, uh, cocktail tables are more accessible for kids, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. They just are. Yeah, for makes, sure. makes sense. Just go over and look at them. Also, yeah. shout out to Tyler. I don't know why he's still playing video games because Kasumi Ninja was his first video game. I don't, even, I don't know that one. Yeah, yeah, what is it? That's the Jaguar fighting game. Oh, where yeah. The guy oh. lifts up his kilt and shoots the, the fireball out of people. That's great. Wow. Yeah. Where does it come out of? Uh, what? Well, it comes out of his, uh, his, his, his weenus. Okay. That's, <laughs> his that's, weenus. that's the medical term. Yeah. 